Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do a camera viewer overlay in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now on the edit page and we're going to use an effect here in Effect Library down to FX, it's DSLR. You can just drag it, put it directly onto your clip and it just creates that uh, DSLR viewer overlay effect. Let's check in the inspector here in effect what you can modify. So you can modify the shutter speed. So here, let's say I want to do uh, one fifth of a second. Then we can uh, adjust the aperture if we want. We can adjust uh, the time code. So here, do we want to have the hours, minutes, second, and frames, or do we want to have only uh, the second and the frame? You can decide to do that. As you can see, if you play it, it's just gonna match uh, the duration of your clip. Here you can choose the frame per second. So my timeline is 24, so I'm just gonna put 24. Perfect. You can change the ISO. So here, uh, if we want to do ISO, uh, 100 and here you can change the text color so it's gray but for example i would like to have completely white so you can do that by changing the color you can also change the overlay color so here it's black but if i would like to have them uh, gray for example i think it's gonna be a bit more subtle you can just do that right here and uh, as you can see we have a gray overlay by adjusting the slider recording we can remove the rec on the screen and we can actually keyframe it if we want for example here we don't record so let's just be at zero and then when we start recording uh, we can add a keyframe and put it to one and it will just show up the rec right there when we start recording so that's something that you can do you can adjust also here the battery level so if you want to go down to zero or if you want to be up to the maximum uh, you can do that right there in battery level the thing is now we have the timer that doesn't match with the reg, so I would just like to remove the time code. And here you can do that by just removing second and frames and you don't have a timer anymore. You just have the values and the reg and not the time code anymore. That's pretty much it. That's a very cool and simple effect that you can do directly in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.